look outside, you'll see that the, that the heavens have opened up and that the sun is streaming in, a sign of things to come for sure. We're joined by Danella Conte, interior designer from uh, Malibu uh, Interiors, to give us some advice on how to spruce up your living space in this new season. I hope you're still having a good time with us. Eh? Yes, I am. Thank That's you good. very much. You've changed this whole setup up this morning. It looked very, very, very different. Uh, looking at the current trends that are making headway in interior designing, what are you looking at right now? Okay, well, what I did here with the couch is we wanted to give it, <clears throat> excuse me, a happy, fresh summer holiday mood uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so I kept the covers I, I sorry I kept the inners and I just changed the covers yes. into a coral sort of a duck egg coral and working with a little bit of navy our couch has a slip cover which makes it very easy to do these changes and these are easy changes that you can do at home um, and then on the side of you I changed the lampshade so we <clears throat> working with something that's lighter mm -hmm. and I filled those um, urns with shells that you could collect yourself at you know at the beach these urns are pretty much available in, yeah. in many stores um, so that's our summary look looking at the trends we just completed a, a project now in Europe so we had a sneak preview because obviously we are season behind yeah. on what trends were um, and I spoke about colors before so navy blue was was quite big but on a, a shopping level there's a there's a consciousness there's a global consciousness to not really rush out and buy lots of little things it's more like buy one special feel-good thing or mm -hmm. a sort of heirloom something with integrity something that's going to last long so um, when you're planning for the future in your home I think it's good to have a set fixed plan with where you want your room to head and instead of just going out and kind of buying things that take your fancy write it down and peruse the stores buy things that are going to have longevity mm -hmm. they're going to you know that are going to last long that are going to kind of transcend trends but still keep with you know your personality and the character of your home yeah. i think that's really important to kind of mash the two together and i think that's where i'd rely on the expertise of someone like you who would be able to tell me the difference between a duck egg yellow and a banana green yellow i duck mean like egg blue. duck egg blue oh my gosh it's a <laughs> duck eggs on blue i didn't even know that but um, <laughs> looking looking at, at you know moving into the, the new season spring it's a, it's all about spring cleaning cleaning out your closet but i'm a, I'm a big time hoarder yeah. and when it comes to getting rid of stuff i find that pretty difficult what, what do you propose yeah i also find it difficult to get rid of stuff um generally uh you know which is why we kind of did the the cushion covers and keeping the inners because covers are easier to store uh -huh. so you know trying to jam cushions and things into a cupboard all of us live with you know not too much space we don't have that luxury um but inners you i mean the covers you'd fold them away you'd put them away um i think it's very good to bring in lots of color uh, which you can you know do quite easily with a splash of paint uh, put um, lampshades together put like I did you know this type of thing together obviously um, storing big things like that maybe if you've got a younger brother or a younger sister say can you keep these in your room you know for me for a moment <laughs> if you've got a living room um, yeah move them onto the dining room reinvent uh, which is, is is quite easy to do with accessories because you group them you know you'll group things on your kitchen counter take the shells out fill them with lemons you've got a brand new kind of look of a vase you, you make it sound so easy but i don't know if you saw this just before <laughs> while she was talking she kind of propped this throw pillar up and then she karate chopped it she calls it because i don't know what to do with these throw pillars and she says that's the perfect way of placing them so you well, pop them up first and then you karate chop them yeah that's the designer that's the designer look for cushions you'll see when you flick through magazines you know they're not like like this yeah they always <laughs> you have the karate chop. It's just, it's just a, a decorating thing. I don't know. It's quite silly, but it does make your cushions look a lot fuller, which is there we go. You well, know, thank you very much for all the advice. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, of course, we have a fantastic restaurant competition.